Since the start of the year, to date, 205 teenage girls have delivered babies at the facility. A statistic, Gengo says, is alarming. Just 205 teenagers giving birth is not just about a child giving birth to a child. It's also a failure <coughs> on how we're communicating to young people about sex. It's a failure that clearly there was no protected sex here. It was unprotected. And we start to stress about HIV because we know right now the biggest risk to HIV is towards adolescent girls and young women. So every time you see a teenage pregnancy, you must know that there's no safe sex being practiced. But when we talk about sex, my pastor, the religious leaders get angry with us. The politicians in parliament are saying, no, we're not going to have comprehensive sexual education in schools. And we must work together on this because unintended pregnancies, particularly adolescent pregnancies, are contributing to high infant and maternal mortalities. The First Lady adds that families must talk to each other about the effects of absent fathers, rape, gender-based violence, abortion, malnutrition, and fathers supporting their partners in pre- and neonatal care. We have to protect our kids because when we fail to protect our kids now, it's easier to fix broken kids than it is to fix broken adults. And we have too many broken adults harming children who in turn go and harm other children. So when we talk about safe motherhood, we talk a lot about nutrition, we talk a lot about access to health care, we talk about the need for prenatal, postnatal care, all of that is important. But so is our family structure, so is the collective responsibility. Because if our mothers aren't safe, our babies aren't safe. What we also don't talk about often enough, and I've gone to many maternity shelters, um, ED. I've gone to many people trying to encourage women to come to prenatal. And you'll only see women. You don't see the fathers. Gain goes toward the maternity wards and visited pregnant mothers in waiting at the facility. She also handed baby kits to mothers and would-be mothers. Faith Sankwasa, NBC News. <laughs> 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 <laughs>